drop. Oh, you're kidding me. I thought that was the new one. See what I'm telling you? <laughs> accelerator crate. I get a crate drop. We have a new crate. And I get an accelerator crate. Alright. Now, nah, that pisses me off. I'm calling that quits there. Psionics. I don't know what I need to do to get a damn crate. Um, PayPal. Give me your details. I'll make it happen. Alright? Alright. This is about spilt my beer. All right, Australia for Rumble. I'll take Australia for Rumble. And why will I take Australia for Rumble? The ping is good. <laughs> and Rumble's my type of game. I enjoy Rumble. I enjoy Standard, <laughs> but Rumble's a bit more fun. I just don't like the maps that Rumble's on. Can we put Rumble on normal maps, please? Like, do they have to be on these frickin' lab maps? Okay, no one there to finish that off. That was a bit weak. Oh, I could have got that. Uh, maybe I should just stay up here on the hill with my punchy wunchy. Wait for it uh, <laughs> to go past, and it goes behind me. That was awesome. Oh, haha, ha, please. That could have been great. If I just stopped in the middle, that could have been actually epic. Okay, punchy wunchy again. What am I gonna do this time? Let's move that along. Yeah, just, oh, I want it in the middle. I want it a bunchy bunchy in the middle. Man, that's too high. A lot of people getting punchy bunchies. That might not be their technical term, punchy bunchies. But, uh,. The one I'm going with, alright. Screw you! Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, that bounced too hard. I could have got that in. Oh, yeah. Oh, my golly gosh! It's all over the joint. Yeah, my mate. Hey Come on. Oh, I wanted something better than that in my arsenal. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you going with that? Where are you going with that? Where are you going? What are you doing with it, mate? Why are you going away from the goal? Yeah, bow. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I got no boost. Um, This camera's got smile detection. It is detected in no smiles. Ooh. Ah, that could have been cool. Man, just be up here on the roof, guys. Don't bother about me. Okay, we want it just in front like that. He's the Wong Man. Wong Man. 2000. Definitely not the right man. He's the wrong man. I don't know why I find that so amusing, but uh, I quite enjoy it. Oh, okay, what's happening? 
like someone the other day had uh, uh, yesterday during the six hours eight hours of playing um, someone had a name and the name was see a, a cod reference <laughs> I thought I thought that was rather ingenious um, if you get it like cod reference as in if it was a reference to a gun or a place in Call of Duty but instead of saying that place or that gun or that knife or whatever it is <laughs> it was just COD reference I like it I like it Ooh. Yeah, should I tell these guys I mean, like, might be on YouTube, but do I have to? If I'm in a game with someone and I'm recording, I suppose if I'm not recording their voice, um, it's okay? Maybe, maybe I should just say it. Okay. Make the middleman on YouTube. Are e caught in now? <laughs> oh, that was nearly a save. Nearly. I will watch that. <sighs> almost, almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna set it up for you guys and take it, take it away. Oh no, I mean, didn't mean take it away. I mean, like, take it away. You're on, kid. Do shoot that shit. Whoa, I went over that. Over it and under it. What you doing, boys? Okay. Now get me some of that. Get some of that. And a bit more of that, but you come with me, boy. Oh, bad angle. Good game, good game. <laughs> to be honest, I was gonna try to hit that in our goal. <laughs> so who cares? I lost it anyway. And no drop. Yeah, chatty bunch in that one, weren't they? Wow, that was all we got out of them. If you're gonna stay in this one, you wanna be a little bit more lively, guys? Maybe. <laughs> Stuffing me up there. Yeah, right, come on, boy, do it. Okay, set it up for me, guys. No, that's not set up for me. Uh, yes, beautiful save. That should have been an epic save, to be honest. Are you done with it? You come back this way, or...? Nope, just gonna get it in. Nice. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> That's a pretty cool uh, new ad that they just added. Uh, was the um, the Batmobile uh, goal explosion? Um, epic sound, epic sound to it. Oh, with that, big time. But uh, yeah, no, that was a good one. Uh, I've got the Batmobile. I don't use it. Um, bit too short. I like 
as you can see, I, can, I like the tall cars. They need to bring something else out that was tall, like, you know, the Merc or, or the XL or a Roadhog. Um, oh, that's a good shot. Oh, I mean, yeah, they need to bring out a bigger car. Um, I suppose all the guys like that, but they like the Octane, and the Octane is kind of, you know, it's it's uh, it's a big little car, I suppose you call it, <clears throat> because it's so tall. Um, it's thin, as in it's not very wide, but it's still a tall car, and people like the raised back and the sharp down uh, front, and that kind of aspects. I believe that's why they like it. Um, so why not bring out more like that? Is that is it to keep the uh, popularity of the Octane up there? Like you see every competitive guy using uh, what eighty percent of the Octane, and you don't bring out something that complements or uh, slightly different, like something that's a little bit. I don't know, wider in the same aspects, but same kind of speed, like, it just, I don't know. Just recycle the same thing like you guys seem like you're always doing at the moment. Oops, did I say that? Uh -huh. New crate, <laughs> and you've got two of the old goal explosions. Wait, really guys? And not even Hellfire. Okay, yeah, party times. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't mind it, but it doesn't mean that a new crate should have old stuff in it. That's what they call it new, isn't it? Um, the the, the nitro crate or the accelerator crate or anything like that. They didn't have the same stuff in it, did they? Unless I'm wrong. And then if I'm wrong, then fair enough, but... I don't know. Is that lazy because they're bringing out the, uh... Christmas one soon, and there's just... There was just too much? It was just too much to handle? Well then, you know what? Don't bring out the Christmas one or the Halloween one. Ends up being too many crates. Then you can concentrate on the one that's good and makes everyone happy instead of two very subpar ones, but we'll still wait to see what the Christmas one is. Um, and one very average one. Now, this is the first crate that I haven't been excited about. Uh, every other crate in the last, since I got the game, like a year ago, so, uh, eight months ago, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember exactly. Um, but ever since, like, I've been watching crate videos, John Sandman crate videos, and then Phantom came out, and I was watching Phantom, and Pick a Pixel, and Camp in Russia. All I was excited to see see what you got, and, and um, you know, Double Painted Weekends, absolutely brilliant to watch stuff on, and... But this crate, I watched John, I watched Phantom, because he came out the next day, and I watched a bit of Pixel, and I was just, like, kind of over it. Um, there was nothing truly exciting about it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just going kind of feeling off after a trip to New Zealand, and I've lost my happiness. But I'm still happy. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. I know there's bugger all of you subscribed, and there's not many comments, but I don't know. Maybe watch, someone watches this and wants to let me know what's going on in their head about it. Maybe I should start concentrating fully, eh? Now let's just watch it go in. Moving up. Okay, let's just watch it go in. Wrong side! But we still just watched it go in. Something I'm doing soon, guys. Um, I'm a massive basketball card collector um, and toy collector, colli uh, you know, collector's item, figurine collector kind of deal. Um, 
and while I was in New Zealand, I had internet and uh, one of my connections in Oz had some good stuff going, so I decided to buy it. So I've got a, uh, a box of cards coming uh, and one of his mystery packs, which I've had a couple of his mystery packs usually at Christmas time before. Um, the Wok Christmas packs, um, the West Oz cards, .com.au, I think .com.au. Um, <laughs> he's oh never let me down. Yeah, uh, I've always gotten some epic cards, and um, much more true to value than what an average Panini upper deck um, card case kind of gets. Pay 120 bucks for it, 100 or something like that bucks for it, and you're guaranteed to get 80 bucks worth. Uh, of magical cards and then a bunch of other you know bits and pieces and da 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 yeah you could get your, you could get your, in this one you can get yourself something that's worth a couple of grand and there's some awesome cards in there as well hundreds hundreds of dollars worth of cards uh, in packs so when I go into a big break you spend let's say 200 bucks a spot and there's one recently I've gone into that I've spent okay drop come on drop drop oh you're kidding me I thought that was the new one see what I'm telling you <laughs> accelerator crate I get a crate drop we have a new crate and I get an accelerator crate all right now nah, that pisses me off I'm calling that quits there psionics I don't know what I need to do to get a damn crate. Um, PayPal, give me your details. I'll make it happen. All right? All right. Well, that's enough of this crap anyway. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As I was just saying, I'm going to do, uh, oh yeah, with that uh, packs and how good those packs are, I'm going to do a box opening. Um of the cards, uh, the, the, the uh, 17, 18 Prism Fast Break Pack, uh, Fast Break Box, just doesn't have silvers, but it has other parallels, and uh, one of the Wok Mystery Packs. I'm going to do that on video, I'm going to probably uh, load that up to this channel, maybe even the other channel as well, the Mick and CJ's Candies and Toys that me and my daughter do, uh, more of a kid's channel. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to do that, put that up on the channel, and if you guys like that, I'm going to continue with that kind of stuff. It might cost me a fair bit, but it's really my passion. I'm a massive uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo uh, fan and collector. I have got a mass amount of his rookie cards and ex-rookie cards. Beautiful cards. Um, estimated value somewhere at the moment of 23 grand. Um, and... If he gets MVP this year, it goes any better, and a blah, blah, blah. That's going to double, triple, four or five years if he gets a couple of rings on his fingers, uh, one or two, one, an MVP under his belt. You know what? Kobe, LeBron status, uh, which means his rookie stuff's going to be worth epic 10 times amount. That's going to be a house for me. Um, you know, probably 300 grand. If he ends up going the way that I think this guy's going to go, uh, for the Milwaukee Bucks, a beast. And then I've got my Simmons rookie cards as well, and he's going like a trooper. He's an Aussie, uh, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. But, um, yeah, no, he's epic. I've got his, uh, but he didn't bring any new autographs out uh, in the Panini range. He signed with Upper Deck, like Rabon did, um, which kind of sucks for the collector, but, you know, good for his value. <clears throat> but anyway, guys... I hope you have a great evening, morning, night, whatever it is for you. Uh, I am spewing that I haven't gotten any crates. I hope you're spewing for me. Let's start a protest. Uh, let's get a group suing situation going on for, you know, restitution. Um, <laughs> I need, I need, uh, I need to be padded for this, Sionix. All right. Have a good one. See you next time.